Brothers and sisters, coronavirus did not come to kill and destroy. It's doing that, but many people see this to be a sign from Allah Azza wa Jal to wake us up. To wake us up from the heedlessness that we are, the state of heedlessness we've been in for a long period. To put life back again into our conscious. It came to remind us with our reality. Look how small this creature is. And look what it did to the globe at large. It disrupted the entire globe. It stopped fleets of aircrafts from flying. How many, the huge number of aircrafts in all around the world are, from the last time they've landed, they never took off. Countries have closed their borders. Uh, transportation networks closed down. Restaurants closed down. Bars, discotheques. Whatever you want to, everything is closed down in most of the countries. Many countries have partial curfew. Some have full. Some, all of that was done by a creature so small that can be seen with the naked eye. It came to remind us that there is a creator who is all capable, all powerful. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. A creature as small as this virus, which is 125, according to researchers, it's 125 nanometers. And so you can just visualize the size. An A4 paper that you put in the printer is 100,000 nanometers thick. So you can just imagine how small this is. And it needs an electron microscope to magnify 10,000 up to 100,000 multiples in order for scientists to be able to see it. This very small creature put the globe down to their knees. Kings, presidents, prime ministers, ministers, members of the parliament, Leaders of armies, all were forced to go into quarantine. Why? Because Allah is all capable. And people have transgressed their limits. People have become heedless of this fact that He is all powerful. And He can send down one of His creatures to make everything paralyzed. So that people would wake up and go back to the right path. Brothers and sisters, if this issue of coronavirus, COVID-19 ends without us waking up, without us regaining our heedfulness, without us remembering death, and that one day we will face that reality, and therefore change our lifestyles, and reconcile with Allah, then it's an utter loss, and we're on uh, great danger. We ask Allah's help to make us mindful of Him. Assalamu alaikum.